Bonjour, Marty Jester here, and welcome back to Greatest Battles. In this episode, I am going to go into part number four of the Foundation Saga. Without further ado, let us begin. It is pretty clear to me that I started this round AFK, but the challenge in this one is to deal damage from above with an SMG. So, as soon as I come back, I'm going to go on ahead and uh, get into the uh, round at hand. So, as you may have guessed, since uh, I am telling you that I uh, started off this episode, uh, or this round, AFK, this is, of course, post-round commentary. So... I forget exactly what I was doing in this uh, particular instance. I could have been doing anything from using the bathroom to cleaning the dishes to and um, you know, to even eating lunch or supper. I don't know, but uh, the one thing that is clear is that it's taking me a while to actually get back. So one of the longer um, uh, reasons uh, for um, being AFK would have been it. Like, I'm pretty sure um, uh, that uh, I had to take care of something pretty long. Um, given the fact that... Uh, uh, this round is only about 10 minutes and 57 seconds. I'd say um, uh, something shorter, like um, uh, cleaning the dishes, would be it. Because, um... <laughs> you really don't want to know um, uh, uh, about much of my personal life, and I'm not really going to tell you either. So... I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just basically, um, you know, floating around here until I get ready to, um, uh, actually come back and, uh, and get started with the round at hand. I've already got the survival uh, survivor one medal because uh, I'm just out here at the edge of the storm <laughs> while people are just killing each other left and right. It wouldn't be too surprising if I got the survivor two medal just shortly afterwards. Like, <laughs> I mean, look at the storm. That is one of the luckiest storms uh, that I have ever seen. Like, I am at the northern tip of it. Like, I am not, uh, I am not even, um, in the storm itself. I'm in the eye. Uh, just on the northern tip of the eye. <laughs> that is crazy how that worked out. Goodness. Three minutes so far? What is going on? <laughs> okay. Alright, so the reason why I'm asking this is, uh, this took part, uh, this took place a pretty good bit ago, and, uh, at the time, um, eh, I knew, but, um, nowadays, about, uh, Five weeks later, I have absolutely no idea. And, uh, this is coming close to the end of the season. Um, for the, um, uh, purposes of this Let's Play, I'm going to, um, uh, put the final part of the Foundation Saga, um, later on tonight. And, uh, I will, um, uh, choose uh, Bonanza Week as the true season finale so that there can be a chance that you can um, use my video as a tutorial to get uh, the last few styles of um, the foundation. Um, I will give you at least a week to um, 
uh, to do all this. So, best of luck. <laughs> yeah, best of luck to you. Um, I think the the last time I asked Siri, um, how long um it was till the end of the season. She said it was two weeks from Saturday. So, I'm guessing that there's going to be a season-ending live event Saturday. Um, you know, next Saturday, not this coming up Saturday. And, uh... As such, um... I'm just gonna, um... I'm just basically, um, uh, trying to, uh, give you guys, uh, a chance to, um, use this as a tutorial and, uh, and, uh, finish off the, um, uh, the, uh, foundation set yourself. But, um, this particular <laughs> round right here, um, I am, um, uh, I am just, uh, six minutes in, and I have not moved a muscle. Like, I am dead serious. Uh, the only reason th that I am keeping it this long is uh, due to the fact that, um, uh, this video is already only 22 minutes and 41 seconds long. So, um... Whatever I'm doing here, um, I have about, uh, 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 just a little bit over three minutes to do it. I mean, well, not exactly, but, um, still. After all, um, once again, um, the, um, uh, the clip length is about, uh, ten minutes and fifty-seven seconds long, and... Clearly, not all of that is action-packed. So, and... Um, if I had put in, um, uh, my uh, live commentary, I would have been able to easily figure out, um, uh, what was going on here. But, uh, since uh, I did this, uh, uh, strictly in solo rounds, um, uh, for whatever reason, um, yeah, um, there was no, um, uh, live commentary throughout, uh, the, at least four out of the five, uh, um, uh, at least four out of the five, uh, uh, parts. Here we go. Now I'm starting to move. So, now I am swimming to shore, um, from my extended away time, and, uh, I'm gonna be, uh, picking up the aforementioned, uh, SMG for the mission at hand. So, um, yeah, my extended away time there, that was, uh, ugh. I did not, to uh, expect to really, um, I didn't expect that to go that long, honestly. <laughs> I didn't expect that a majority of this clip was that uh, AFK. Um, it was me being AFK. If I had known that, um, um, one of the parts of the um, uh, uh, Bonanza week probably wouldn't exist. Because um, it would... Uh, uh, the... Bonanza week would be part of this episode specifically. So, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that's my, um, uh, story here. Now, I've got the common SMG. So, that is, um, uh, that is basically, uh, 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 that taken care of. Um... But now I just need to figure out um, um, uh, when I actually deal the damage from above. Especially seeing as how right now it's a minute in. 
like, from the 9 minute and 57 second mark, uh, we only have a single minute left in the clip. So, whatever I'm going to be doing here, I need to do it now. I'm going to need to do it within the next, uh... Uh, 37 minutes. Uh, 37 seconds. Seconds, not minutes. There is a huge difference. Okay. So, part of that you couldn't catch because, um, eh, it kind of skipped forward a little bit. But, um, honestly speaking, um, it was, uh, alright. Okay. Yeah, this is one fight I'm definitely not winning. Even with that car having missed me that one time, they took me out with a heavy shotgun. Alrighty, here we go. We are going for the challenge to land at a 7 outpost and then place top 10. Unlike in the last clip, this time I am fully alert at the wheel. So, it should have a little bit more action to it. And uh, given that this is my second take uh, uh, with the um, uh, track 2, uh, given my first one um, uh, got uh, accidentally deleted because uh, somebody mistakenly pressed the circle button instead of the X button, um... I'm here to tell you that, uh, yes, it will be more action-packed. <laughs> Far more action-packed. It's, uh, it's not even funny, honestly. So, um... I'm not going to spoil my placement, because, um, you're already going to be, um, seeing it, uh, um, soon. But, uh, suffice it to say... If I hadn't have uh, uh, killed as many people as I had, and uh, to uh, and uh, played it as safe as I had, I would not have placed it anywhere near high enough to complete the challenge at all. So that should tell you a little bit of something about uh, how um, how close it came, because um, I. I just, uh, there's just no words for it, um, I nearly, uh, nearly, nearly did not get this challenge done. Like, this was, uh, uh this was extremely close. So, um, let's go on ahead and, uh, uh get on with this now, instead of just y yammering on about, uh, how nearly I didn't uh, get this challenge done in this exact clip. So, um... I go back in here, because my memory is that of a goldfish, and uh, I forgot that I had even um, gotten everything out of there um, earlier. And then I take out that guy, um, with a common... Uh, Mark 7 Assault Rifle. Had to think for a little bit there of what it was called. <laughs> anyway, let's go on ahead and uh, move on to the rest of the round after that kill. Because, um, I'm pretty sure that guy was, uh, was just screaming at his screen and, uh, and just, uh, and, uh slamming his, uh, and, uh, keyboard or something. Like, um, some of these guys are super sweaty, and they're just in it to win it. So, um, uh, by, um, uh, by taking them out, um, you're really, um, uh, ruffling their feathers. <laughs> just saying. Um, when it comes to, um, um, uh, when it comes to games like this, honestly, I and Zeta Beetle both are just in it for the challenges. Like, um, 
Yeah, we ha we both have a personal challenge to get done with all of the seasonal quests and to fill out the battle pass and all of the extra rewards, including the foundation set, um, uh, which I have been waiting for for... Four seasons. Four seasons I have been waiting for this. And uh, they only just now release it. But hey. Good things come to those who wait. This is a supremely awesome um, uh, 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 outfit and uh, combo. And... Uh, uh, and... It's good enough that I uh, actually made uh, this season's preset out of it. Like, this is exactly what uh, my preset for this season looks like. Like, my old Jester outfit, the um, the one with the uh, with the with the. Santa hat and everything, my sergeant winner. Now that was for the winter. That has passed. Now I have. Uh, uh, now I'm going to be um, uh, wearing either this or the um, uh, uh, the night night outfit to uh, the normal night night outfit with the um, uh, with the clown head. Um. For, um, yeah, for until about, um, I'd say Halloween-ish, because, uh, that's, uh, when my, um, next, uh, um, yeah, that's when my next, uh, special preset will, um, uh, yeah, will then pop into the picture. And, uh, that one, yeah, basically has the, um, it basically has the, uh, the victory umbrella for chapter two, season four, which due to um the um and battle pass characters, the battle pass uh, outfits and everything, was my favorite season of chapter two, because um you know, one outfit that stands out in particular is of course Mystique. And uh, the reason for that is Mystique is a shapeshifter. You can um, turn into anyone that you eliminate. Unless the uh, emote glitches, in which case uh, you're just uh, left with a um, uh, uh, recruit skin. You know, the, um, uh, the default skin of chapter... Uh, two onwards. Um, in the case like that, um, uh, it, it sometimes makes a uh, mystique uh, not that great. But when she does decide to act right with that uh, emote, um, you can guarantee that uh, she can uh, uh, completely impersonate every single part of uh, the outfit uh, that uh, that person has right up to the back bling like you can um, if you have no back bling at all she can perfectly um, uh, capture uh, the um, um, uh, enemy's um, uh, combo um, eh, whether they have a back bling or not. It's uh, for this reason that I actually have two presets for Mystique. And the one where I um, actually want to capture every single piece of my opponent's uh, gear, and one where I just couldn't care less and just want to um, uh, show off. Uh, like, um... Like, here's the thing about Mystique. Um, 
if the enemy doesn't have a back bling, but you do, uh, she will not, um, uh, uh, she will not uh, have no back bling. She will have your back bling. So, in cases like that, um, I have uh, made uh, uh, the one that doesn't have a back bling the one that I use more often because I like to perfectly capture um, my... Um, enemies preset uh, regardless of whether they have a back bling or not because um when people like a uh, John Wick uh, decide to come after you and uh, and just uh, sweat on you and uh, think they're all hot stuff just because they have a rare skin if you smoke them you can take their skin and you can essentially, um, you can essentially just, uh, rub salt in their wounds, and, uh, by, um, uh, pretending to be them. And they're like, oh, really? You had to copy my skin? Now I don't have the rarest skin anymore. And that is the absolute charm of Mystique. So here, I take uh, I get taken down by this guy, and I manage to place number 10. See how close that came to not giving me the challenge right then and there? That's, uh, that's what I've been trying to tell you guys the whole time, but I didn't want to spoil it completely. Alrighty, so that seems to be about it for right now, but uh, join me in later tonight when I... Assist in Eliminating Gunner. Deal damage from above with shotguns. And... One last SMG damage from above uh, challenge that will serve to be the grand finale of the Foundation Saga. In the meantime, though, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Until then... Au revoir, mes amis.